Welcome back, everybody. I'm extremely excited tonight, November 22nd, on the East Coast, a few hours away from part two of the Revelation series. I'm extremely excited that I got my delivery of the entire wave today. Something that struck me immediately, and this is the most anticipated figure in the wave for me personally, and uh, something that struck me immediately when I took him out of the package was the plastic being used on the flesh tone parts of the figure. It is starkly very different than the plastic being used for flesh tone on He-Man and Faker. Like it's not even close. So I immediately took this as, wow, this is an upgrade in the design of the figures. And I thought to myself, wouldn't it be cool to get a He-Man with this kind of flesh tone application instead of that more cartoonish yellow that we'll take a closer look at when we do the themed comparison today. But other than that, and that's just kind of like a, uh, hmm, I wonder, because again, it's in the package and I haven't held the figures close together or done a comparison, but we're going to do that together. So I'm excited about that also. And so, yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the artwork on the package. Shout out to all the artists that make this happen, the engineers, the designers. Heck yeah, take a look at that bio. Let me adjust the camera there. Feeling that artwork. I wonder if these guys are going to come out as maybe like a three pack or something, right? For army building, kind of like we see the palace guard up there. Never know. Complete wave. I also have the SDCC exclusive scare glow. So in that video, I'll do a comparison. We'll do a direct comparison of those two guys and that'll be chill. Very nice. Check for that. All right. Let's get Fisto out of the box. Boom. Boom, heroic master of hand-to-hand -hand combat. <sighs> yes, we've got Fisto, the heroic master of hand-to-hand -hand combat. The palace guardian who literally packs iron in his right hand. And the interesting thing is, and I don't remember the vintage, I never had the classics, you know, I'm late to that whole party and you've heard me mention this before in my other videos. Uh, so this is my only Fisto ever and I don't remember the vintage, the original from the 80s. So I, and I highly doubt that he had a metal fist. But let me tell you something and I didn't know this because I haven't seen any previous uh, reviews. This Fisto has a metal fist. <laughs> this portion here is metal. I don't know if it's iron, but it is metal 100%. It is metal. I don't want to bang it on a hard surface because it is that kind of metallic paint that will chip. But this piece is definitely metal. It's definitely some kind of metal. It reminds me of, it kind of feels like the metal that the action figures, the Bionic 6 were made out of. Kind of like a die cast metal or something. Only the fist, not the gauntlet. The fist does have rotation. The gauntlet does have rotation. There is no hinge in this massive fist, of course. It's not going up or down or left or right. It's just pounding things straight away. Bam! <laughs> uh, but very cool. He has the double-jointed pinless elbows. Very nice. And he has the swivel, the cut at the bicep, and the full rotation at the shoulder. The shoulders will give you... Whoops. About 90 degrees under each armpit. No problem there. He's got an upper diaphragm cut that allows for some tilt. And we're going to take a closer look at that when we get the armor off. He does have the waist cut. He's got the hinges at the thighs or, or the upper hips. And then he has the swivel and cut at the thighs. He has the pinless knees. And so I'm going to bend them as far back as I can, and that is a tremendous amount of range. Let's see if maybe Fisto were in a Superman punch kind of mood. Will Fisto balance on one leg? 
Yes, he will. Superman. <laughs> nice job, Superman with the... I mean, I'm sorry, not Superman. <laughs> I got carried away. Fist up with the Superman punch. Nice deal. Can I get him to stand facing the camera? Come on, bud. This is a great shot right here. Yes. Well done, Fisto. Good, jolly good show, Fisto. Or should I say Magnus? Hmm. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> nice deal. So, yeah, he has the <laughs> cut at the upper boot. And then we've got the super generous, the super generous ankle rockers. Really nice. And I don't know if this is purple. Is that purple? I guess it's like a, 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 a purplish blue. But I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm liking it. Very nice. The brown is really well done. It's a deep brown. It doesn't look cheap. The loincloth, same. There's a black wash on it. It is a darker brown, and there is no wash on the boots at all. So you do see that coloration difference. And that's a shame because these are really nice boots. I think we've seen these boots before on either Faker or He-Man or both. Uh, but it would have been nice with a little black wash just to give it a closer match to that loincloth because otherwise everything on this guy paint-wise is really, really stunning. Looking at the head sculpt really quickly. That is remarkably well done. I mean, I am really feeling the amount of detail in the locks of hair. Look at the detail there on the cheekbone. The bags under the eyes, the eye sockets. Really, really great detailing. Very nice. A little scowling look there with the wrinkles in the brow ridge. A little tuft of hair there. Very cool. Very well done. Very well done. The metallic paint is applied really well on the armor. At least on my copy. So I'm really, really thankful for that. Because I'm, I'm feeling this guy. I'm feeling this guy. He is definitely up there. One of my favorite figs in, in, in my collection so far. I don't have the Beast Man stink, uh, Spike or Wave. So yeah, he's looking tough. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at Fisto's physique without the armor on. Looking mighty beastie, very gladiator, gladiator-ish. Yeah, I think Magnus lives. <laughs> very, very nice detailing there. Very, very nice. And we see the cut there for the upper diaphragm. So you get this tilt going on. Very nice. Some good range, that little bit of tilt, right? Very nice. You know what? Now that we have Magnus flexing, let's get his hand swapped out. Check out an accessory or two. He comes with an additional weapon or shield holding hand, as we see here. And he comes with an open hand with the modified thumb. This is no longer the abnormally ginormous thumb. They fixed that. And even on this hand, you get a sense for how really natural looking the plastic is. Very nice. And while we've got him here, let's give this lefty a look at the iconic pose of Arnold Conan the Barbarian. And yes, I know that Arnold is not the original Conan. Don't be ridiculous. I am here to pump you up. Very nice. Not much effort getting him there at all. Very, very chill. So just a couple of looks on a few different sides here. The rippling back muscles look. Fisto is winning. Very nice. Very nice. All right, moving on. Let's try to get another dynamic pose going here. I like that. He doesn't have a weapon sheath 
uh, in the back of his armor, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. It's make believe. I'm digging this. It's a slightly better angle there. Very nice. Let's try to get another dynamic pose out of our friend here and then go into a little comparison. All right, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. You know what I mean? He's got the, the sword swept behind him as if he swung with that. And he didn't intentionally mean to hit anybody with that sword because what he really, really wanted to do was land the number two. The one was just the fake uh, to get him to flinch. And the number two was the bomb coming to boom level situations. Very, very nice. All right, we've got Fisto there looking kind of serious. Why so serious, Fisto? <laughs> very nice. This guy is very cool, man. I'm super excited. Let me tell you, the Revelation line really has me impressed. You know, I have Ultimate He-Man, and I have a few other Classics figures, a few Ultimate classes fi Classics figures, and they're outstanding. I'm up there with everybody. I love Classics. They are the... the uh, the bar, right? They set the bar. But let me tell you something. Revelations, if you're not collecting Revelations, you're missing out. You're going to regret it in 15 or 20 years because this line is unique. It has something, it has character of its own and it really is paying a good homage to the mythos and the history of the Masters of the Universe. And I'm enjoying collecting these guys and I'm happy that they're bringing back He-Man and Origins line is bringing back He-Man and the minis and all these other versions and Revelation and all the different cartoons. Mm -hmm. He-Man is back and it's awesome. And Fisto is still so serious. <laughs> but anyway, enough of that stuff. Let's go ahead and look at, um, get into today's theme comparison. So for that, I want to bring out Revelation He-Man. And I want to bring out Revelation Faker. So we've got the three gentlemen lined up. And, well, I guess Faker isn't a gentleman, right? So there goes that. <laughs> but uh, we've got them lined up. Yep, I was right. They are wearing the same boots. However, He-Man and Faker have a wash on their boots. At least on the lower leather portion. So that's cool. Fistle does have the darker brown. But no wash anywhere there. And as we pan up and we kind of just look at, I mean, the, the color differences here. Looking at the legs, looking at the arms. You know, these guys definitely have a yellow-orange kind of thing going on in their skin tone. And that's just definitely a choice of plastic, you know. And had they gone with this color choice for the entire toy line and all figures, you know, it probably would have been passable. But now with Fisto, this is a new bar being set in the line. Absolutely. Heck yeah, man. Fisto is rocking. The Revelations line is rocking. And in a few hours, probably like seven or eight hours, uh, we're all going to be watching part two of the Revelation series. Um, so heck yeah, I'm having a lot of fun guys and gals and everybody out there. I'm having a lot of fun experiencing the art, uh, and aesthetic of toys again, but now as an adult and being able to collect and share the enjoyment of collecting with you, I hope you're able to come back and share some more experiences until next time, everybody take care.